You are Mr. Lee, 7 p.m. appointment? Yes, yes. Hello, I am Chong. Yes. Sir, please wait. I go open the door. Thank you. Good job, bro. Well done. Well done. Let's take a look. Uh. Okay. Jay. Oh. Hey, relax up, bro. How much? How much? Oh. Take a look. Around $2,000 and a phone. Mm. I think next time you should rob us to make it more believable. Yes, Sean is right. Very suspicious if we just rob the girls and not the clients. Okay, okay. Next time, we will do that. But as for now, Let's get out of here. Okay? Okay. okay. All right, let's yes. go. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Are you Arum? Yes, are you Johnson J from the online shop? Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. So, heard that you wanted to buy the iPhone, right? Yes, can I see it? Sure, 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 sure. You offer it $800, but it doesn't look new to me. Of course, it is secondhand, but still quite new. Used only for a short while. Do you know that if you buy a new one in Singapore, it will roughly cost around $1,000? Yes, I know. Okay, I tell you what, how about this? I give you a $20 discount and I give you a free charger. So, deal? $70. Okay, can. Only cash. Okay, thank you. I was dropped in Singapore. So, the person who sold you this iPhone is called Johnson J. Yes, this is the online name. And this is his contact number. I tried to call him, but there's no answer. Okay, Mr. Arum, we will investigate this. In the meantime, we will need to seize this phone as evidence. Bunyong. Hey, Jeremy. I've done a preliminary search, but there's no one named Johnson J online with any social media accounts. Any luck on the number that was displayed on the stolen phone? I'll call now. Hello? Someone just answered the phone. Hello. This is an investigation officer Jeremy from the Singapore Police Force. May I know who am I speaking to, please? My name is Nong Sang. You can call me Nong. Hello, Nong. Can you tell me what happened? I was robbed. Did you catch the robbers who stole my money and my phone? Not yet, no. Can you tell me more about the robbery? Where and when did it take place? On the night of 25th April. It was in an apartment at a place called Balestia, I think. I'm not sure of the exact address. What were you doing there? Uh, I was working as a masu. Can you tell us more about the apartment where you work at? It was an apartment on the third floor. There were two rooms there. 
I think there was a shop selling chicken rice and a 24-hour convenience store on the ground floor. Do you remember the description of the person who tried to rob you? It was hard to see his face because he was wearing a white mask. But I could see that he had golden hair. Anything else? Oh, my friend told me that there were two robbers. One of them was in the other room watching her. OK, no. Thank you for your assistance. We'll update you again if there's any further leads. It's time for us to do some legwork. Hey, I may have gotten a lead. The cashier inside remembers a rather strange event. Sometime in April, a female who's a foreigner came into the shop. She looked very frightened and gave the cashier a piece of paper. On it were the words, help me. The cashier tried asking her some questions, but it seemed as if she couldn't understand English. In the end, she just left. Initially, the cashier thought that she just needed help with buying something. But now, on hindsight, he thinks she may have been in some sort of trouble. Did the cashier see where she went to? Yes, she walked up a staircase. It was three shops down that way. Hello, Uncle. Uh, yes? I'm Investigation Officer Ko Boon Yong. Do you live here? Uh, no, the owners are out of the country. I just take care of the place. I come and clean up when the occupants leave. Occupants, you know them? Uh, no, but I think they are tourists. Two women dressed very sexy. And they are here for a short time. And they left a few days ago. So nobody's here now. Have you heard of a robbery that takes place here in April? Robbery? Uh, in April? Uh, no, nobody said anything to me. Okay, never mind. Thank you, Uncle. Here's my name card. Okay. Please call me if the owners return or if new occupants come. Okay. okay? What? You and Sean not coming tonight? So he's coming for the job. Melvin and Kellen. Okay. Okay. Bye. John and Andrew are not available tonight. I will play the customer. Once I have her under control, I will open the door and let you guys in. You guys know what to do, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I called for the 8 p.m. appointment. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, come in. Ah, sure. Come, let me help you close the door. Let's go. Customer attack. Keep quiet. Search the room. What are you doing? You're not customer, you're robbers. Don't try to call the police. They will just arrest you for providing sexual service. Is that clear? Guys, let's go. Okay, ma'am, just to double check, you're robbed by three males. They look Chinese and one has golden hair. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, you also say here that your handphone was stolen. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, ma'am, don't have me sign over here. Okay, thank you. So, just to inform you, the officers are engaged at the moment. So, could you wait over there for a while? Uh, sorry, I'm busy. Can I come back again tomorrow? Okay, no problem. This is yours. Thank you.
Eh, hey, Sophie, Sophie. Okay, okay, Sophie. wait, wait, wait. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Hey, hurry up, gate is closing soon. Wait la, let me check in first. Hurry up la, gate is closing soon, hurry up. This footage was taken from a CCTV. Oh. It was from the night that Arun bought the phone from a suspect who called himself Johnson J. It looks like Johnson J has golden hair. Just like the robber in Nong's description. Do you remember the description of the person who tried to rob you? It was hard to see his face because he was wearing a white mask. But I could see that he had golden hair. Now that we have a probable image of the suspect, do check in our database, see if we could identify him. Will do. By the way, any luck on Johnson J's contact number? No luck there. It was traced to one of those black market phones. Jeremy speaking. This warrant from Tanning Division. I understand that you're actually investigating a robbery at Balestia, which happened sometime in April. Yes, what about it? We just had a police report about a female victim being robbed. We suspect that she's a sex worker because she later withdrew her complaint and refused to explain why. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, excuse me, is there a can to make a police report? Yes, how can I help you, ma'am? I just want to withdraw my report. But is there any issue, ma'am? No, I just want to review my report. In the police report, she mentioned that one of her suspects had golden hair. Suspect with a golden hair? I will send the report over. Maybe it will help you. Alright, thank you. Hey, Jeremy. I went through the report sent by I.O. Warren at Tanglin Division. There was a preliminary check on the victim's call history using the number of a stolen handphone. It seems the victim, Mai, received a call from a number that was the same one that was used by Johnson J when he sold the iPhone to our victim, Arum. So, the person who sold you this iPhone is called Johnson J? Yes, that is the online name. And this is his contact number. I tried to call him, but there's no answer. The use of the same number links to the two crimes. Bunyong, do an online search and see if you can get any social media hits with this number. If you're lucky, Johnson J may have used it to activate or register on any social media sites. Okay, Ken. Hey, drive me. You may have found a suspect. Using the mobile number, I managed to find a link to a Facebook account with the name Jason J. No wonder you couldn't find Johnson J online. He's using Jason J. Yep, Jason J, Johnson J, they're probably the same person. Are there any recent photos of him? Quite a few. And they match the CCTV footage of a man with golden hair. It seems like there are many posts in one pole. He could probably be staying there. What are the recent posts? His most recent post is what appears to be a partial image of a boarding pass. It seems that it's from one of the budget airlines. Call the airline and find out who was seated at 45A on this flight to Bangkok three days ago. Okay. We have a good thing going. Why stop? We target all these people doing illegal activities. They wouldn't dare to go to the police or make a report. There will always be one or two who don't care. We need to take a break. We won't always be so lucky. Okay, fine. You can stay here if you want, but I am going to Singapore to make some more easy money. Okay, fine. Then good luck. Cheers. Cheers. Jeremy, the budget carrier sent a passenger manifest for the flight. The passenger is Tio Chi Jie, 21 years old. He lives in Wampo. Was he travelling alone? No. According to the passenger manifest, he was travelling with another man named Andrew Tan Zhi Wei, 26 years old. Alert ICA. The moment they entered to Singapore, to detain them and inform us immediately. Okay, sure.
Is there a problem, officer? Officer, can you please move back, please? Can I have a passport, please, sir? Oh, sure. Huh? What? Me? Robbing prostitutes? What are you talking about? I was in Thailand. This happened before you left for Thailand, Mr. Teo. What evidence do you have? We have contacted the buyer of the stolen phone. He has positively identified you as the man who sold the phone to him. So? The owner of the stolen phone says someone with a golden hair stole it from her. And you even resorted to cause her to the victim. You even tie her up. Robbery with hurt is a very serious offence. I guess it's in your best interest to cooperate with the police. The evidence in this case is very strong against you, Mr. Teo. This is Andrew Tan Wei. We know you left with him for Thailand. Is he one of your accomplices? So tell me, is Andrew Tan one of your accomplices? Yes. So where is Andrew Tan? And who are your other accomplices? The rest are... Kellen Lee Ching. Kellen! Police! Sean Chong Shen Wang. Shut down! Police! And Melvin Tang Shen Kao. Melvin, police! Kellen, you are under arrest. You are under arrest for robbery. What about Andrew Tan? I'm not so sure. The last time I saw him, he was still in Thailand. All the accused persons were charged with robbery with common intention and other offences. Teo Zizie was sentenced to a total of two years and seven months imprisonment, 12 strokes of the cane and a fine of $30,000. Kellen Li Ting Yu and Sean Chong Shen Wang were sentenced to reformative training. Melvin Tan Sheng Kang was sentenced to 30 months probation. Andrew Tan Zi Wei is still on the run. A police gazette has been issued against him. Anyone with information on Andrew Tan Zi Wei, please contact the police at 1-800-255-0000 or submit information online at police.gov.sg/eyewitness. All information will be kept strictly confidential. The police would like to advise all victims of robberies to make an immediate police report so that the police can take immediate actions to apprehend the criminals. When we return, we find out how Changi International Airport, a vibrant aviation hub, is kept safe, secured and protected 24-7. In 2016, about 58.7 million travellers passed through Changi International Airport. The Airport Police Division of the Singapore Police Force works closely with the Singapore Armed Forces and the Immigration and Checkpoints Authority to ensure travellers' safety and the security of the airport. One of our key responsibilities is to screen for controlled or prohibited items. Officers conduct stringent checks to make sure travellers do not carry dangerous articles. In 2016, there were more than 3,200 detections of controlled or prohibited items on arriving passengers. This is an increase of almost 18% compared to 2,720 detections in 2015. The police would like to remind the public that under Singapore law, items such as stun guns, pepper spray, airsoft guns, empty cartridges, flick knives and knuckle dusters are prohibited. Possession of such controlled or prohibited items is an offence in Singapore and any person found guilty shall be liable on conviction to imprisonment. Passengers at Changi Airport are to declare controlled or prohibited items that they may have at the Customs Red Channel which is located just after the baggage claim hall. Many offenders claim that they are unaware that the items are controlled or prohibited. If you are unsure, you may visit the Police Licensing and Regulatory Department website. For further inquiries, you may also call 6835-0000 or email to spf underscore licensing at spf.gov.sg. We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. I'm DAC Julius Lim. Until next time, stay vigilant.